And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. This is the starting 11 for the Republic of Ireland. Well, they're going to make themselves very hard to break down. In this formation, the only way you can play is on the back foot. Hopefully, they try to counter-attack with pace and numbers. Otherwise, I can't see them scoring. Cooney cross. Haley Rasso. And whipped into the box. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Oh, that's a fine save. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. Chance to do damage. Can she put it away? Keeper had work to do. Giving it a try. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. Well, this corner could be pivotal. It might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. They favoured a short one here. Denise O'Sullivan. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Kyra Cooney-Cross. On to Kerr. How oh, can they nudge in front late on here? Wonderful chance! Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. So with that, we can now say it's all over and the outcome they were hoping for, certainly. A victory, and you can't argue with that, Stuart. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going and they eventually got their reward.